PJ's got a little bit of a temperature still, 99 and 101. Raya over there is 102, 103. <laughs> Happy Thursday, the kids. Fortunately, they have a four day weekend starting today, but it did start a little early. Um, yesterday, Uriah was basically sent home from school because he was not feeling well. And when I went out to the market to get more medicine, Power did say his temperature was going down. So I thought, oh, you know, he's getting better. But no, every time the medicine wears off, his temperature comes back. And so last night was actually a little bit rough. Um, he slept most of the night, but then around three something, he woke up and he was blazing hot. He was like, I think his temperature was 103. And then we gave him medicine and we tried to cool him down and everything. So um, yeah, the boys are home. It is 9.15 a.m. I am making some broth right now. I basically went through my freezer, looked for all the meat that I had. So I had some chicken drumsticks, a little bit of chicken thighs, and a little bit of beef bones. <laughs> so I put it all in here to make some juk, some rice porridge for him later. Um, but yeah, he's actually still asleep. I think because he was awake for a little while. Um, after he woke up in the middle of the night. So he's actually still asleep, still quite sickly. Um, we gave him medicine around, I wanna say like seven or eight, I can't remember. And yeah, we're gonna test him for COVID when he wakes up. But um, yeah, it's pretty late for him to sleep in like this. Usually it does not sleep in. Usually he's the first or second up and he's just like happy, ready to play, ready to do whatever, like very, you know, good attitude. Um, but today he's just like good attitude, but just tired, lethargic, sleepy. So you can definitely tell like he's sick. Here's the sick Baba, poor sick boy here. He wanted me to pull out the Cherry, what you like to sit on this uh, exercise bike while you're watching TV? PJ says he's also not feeling good. I mean, he takes some medicine. I'm giving you right a COVID test right now. Hopefully, it's negative. Looking like it's negative, so that's a good sign. All right, I think the porridge is done. Let me just release the pressure. I've already taken everything out, so the rice is already in there, and I shredded up the chicken so I'm just gonna let the pressure release stir it up it's gonna be a little watery but that's okay it'll thicken up after a little while and then throw the chicken back in season it and then I'm gonna serve it to the kids cuz it is getting late and I don't know if they even ate anything for breakfast but it's like 1130 almost 1130 right now I think they had cookies for breakfast I think power gave them cookies <laughs> This is all the green onion I have, the fresh ones, but I do have some in the freezer. So if anything, I'll just pull, pull some out. And then I'm really sad. I have no more white pepper. That's all done. So I guess for me, I'll just add some black pepper. I'll probably skip it for the kids. And then of course you add soy sauce to taste. All right, let's check it out. Looks good. Those are shiitake mushrooms. Gives the um, the dish like a umami flavor, you know? Where's my, here it is. All right, let's stir it up. It looks good. Just added the chicken. Ooh, this looks like a huge pot. I didn't really mean to mix it so much, but it's okay. Made my bowl, my little bowl here. Let me give it a taste. Let's see if it's good. It 
delicious. Mm. Bless this child's heart. Uriah said he couldn't finish, so he brought this out, covered it himself. Then he went to poo, and he sat there for a little too long, and then his, his uh, feet got numb. And now he can't stop shivering, and I put a sweater on him. Bless your heart, little one. Let me just check your temperature, okay? You don't feel hot to me. You can't stop shivering. 99's a little high, but it's okay. One oh one. Okay. Let me check yours, PJ. Why are you on the floor? Because I want to be. Alright. Is this your ear? Look at the logs and everything. This does look more realistic than usual. They even have a little minor half. 99. <laughs> I don't feel like a wooden pickaxe would do much to a giant boulder. There's a little area down here. Weird angle. Hold on. Hold on. Ouch. Check it out, dude. We got a realistic pickaxe. Sorry. <laughs> 99. When's the last time you had medicine? It is quite realistic. The morning? You got your blankie too? You want mommy help you? Where are you going? On the floor? <laughs> Alright, whatever you guys want to do. Where do you want me to lay it? Yeah. Okay, does that feel better? Keep shivering. You, cold, you feel cold? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I had to tell my boss and my team that I had to step away for a little bit because my kids are dying, apparently. Um, Uriah is no longer shivering. He says he's feeling okay. But I think his temperature is going to start going up. And I'm now looking for... Honey, uh, there you are. Honey. Let me try to get PJ some lemon, hot water, honey, or emergency because he says that his throat is really hurting him. He feels a lot of uh, body aches and he's just like complaining about everything right now i feel like oh my gosh you guys i told my team i was like oh my kids are dying apparently so i gotta step away for a little bit um what was i getting oh lemon okay i do have a lemon 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 um power went to work i might ask him to stop by and maybe pick up some more medicine and lemon, maybe a new honey too. I know honey doesn't expire, but this looks pretty dark, I don't know. Poor baby, this is like the most sick I've ever seen my kids. PJ keeps uh, making some noises over there like he's in pain. So anyway, I don't know exactly when Power gave him medicine last, but he said in the morning, so I'm gonna give him some, some more. <laughs> It expired last month. Why do we have just expired medicine? <laughs> anyway, we might have to go pick up more medicine. Or no, maybe. We still have this one, which expired in September. Why, why do all of our medicines expire so quickly? Should have picked it up yesterday when I was at Walmart. Yeah. I feel like this lemon is not the most ripe, so it's like super hard to juice. But it's okay. We do what we can. I know, babe. PJ says his head hurts now. Body aches, headache. Um, his temperature is rising a little bit. I think, what was it, 101 on one side? But I just wanted to wait a little bit longer to give him his medicine, so... Maybe I'll wait just like 20 more minutes. 1.30, I'll give him some medicine. Okay, honey. 
it doesn't want to come down. <laughs> How do I melt this really quick? I'll probably put it in some hot water. I also read pomegranate juice helps the throat, and I just so happen to have a pomegranate. So I'm going to juice some of this inside the tea as well. Hopefully it tastes good. Good, right? Here we go. Uh, it's so hard to squeeze with one hand. All right, you're already. Uriah already had his had his medicine. Here we go. Put this on. Put it on over. It's fine. Get it together, son. Get it together. I'm cold and everything hurts. <laughs> okay, drink your medicine here. I'm still trying to melt You're melting more honey? of this honey. Because it's so um hard. So you just have to melt it a little bit. Do you feel like this is the most sick you've ever been? Um, I feel like you don't normally I mean, complain. It hurts more. Well, I feel like... I've had sicknesses where it hurted more in one place, but this is hurting all around. Your body aches. Ow. And my bo back hurts. body aches and headaches. <laughs> and my throat really hurts. And your throat hurts. Okay, take your medicine. And I'm cold. Kid. Why am I cold? You're cold, but you actually have a, a little bit of a fever. That's probably like the most miserable, I feel like, when you... It's kind of like an oxymoron, you know? Your body's like hot, but then you feel cold. So like, what do you do, you know? Okay, so that red, that orange cup is yours now. And then Uriah has the green cup. Uh, okay. You know what? <laughs> Ain't nobody have time to stand around squeezing out honey from such a little hole. We'll just do it like this. I took his head off. Ew. <laughs> it just crystallizes a little bit, but once you get it hot, it just melts. Uh. Alright, an eternity later, finally the tea is done. Pour it into Uriah's cup, Peter's cup. You guys want to try the tea now? Okay, come on over. Okay. It's warm, so just take little sips. It does not smell good. Sorry. It's just lemon, pomegranate, and some honey. I feel like that wouldn't mix, would it? Yeah, it would. This is what normally people drink. Okay, give it a try. Just yeah. It just it tastes like honey, I feel like. Honey and lemon. Just sip it. It'll be good for your throat. Okay. Together, it tastes a little sweet. Yeah. Uriah, come on over. <laughs> All right, Uriah. Why don't you try a little bit of this too, okay? It's hot. Yeah, it's supposed to be soothing for your throat. Check this out. Want to take it to the living room? Okay, don't spill, okay? Put it on the table when you're done. It's been about 40 minutes since I gave them their medicine, but PJ's got a little bit of a temperature still, 99 and 101. Uriah over there is 102, 103. So I got him a washcloth, took his sweater off. He's chilling. Yes, we got it. Whoa! Dad is home. Uriah is asleep, though. Hospital ward right now. <laughs> <laughs> PJ, how are you feeling? Meh. Meh. What hurts? Throat. What about your body and your back? The world of Minecraft. Made me just mess You're not hungry? My head hurts, though. What about your... Are you hungry? 
custom heart Not pie. really, and even if I was, <coughs> I don't think I'd be able to eat it. I can go. The boys have barely eaten anything today, which is fine. Well, that was only in the morning. They didn't eat their much of their joke, and they haven't really eaten it. I'm sorry. I got PJ some more of that honey lemon tea with pomegranate juice. Ow. Do you feel warm at all? Yes. Well then, do you want to take your blanket off? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that, that hot. It's about 6 o'clock now. We're going to give PJ some more medicine. We're going to give him some Motrin because... He's in some pain over here. His head hurts, and his tears are hot, and he just doesn't feel good. I feel like the flu is just really kicking their butts today. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Um, I asked them, I've been asking them like if they want to eat yet, if they want, you know, if they're hungry. They really don't have an appetite today, so it's okay, you know, just let them be. I don't want to like, Force it on them. Yeah. Rising when he coughs, it sounds like, dude, don't throw up here. I don't think he's gonna throw up, but it's the phlegm and congestion that he's trying to expel. But anyways, we do have a lot of junk left, so I'm about to pack that away right now. Um, and then, ooh, there's a fly in here. And the boys can eat it tomorrow. But other than that, we are not going out today. I did want to give the boys some of this Chinese, um, it's, it's kind of like medicine, but it's, I don't know. It's not really medicine. I don't know. It's called um, Peipako. My mom used to give this to me when I had a sore throat or when I had a cough growing up. Guess what? Why? I like it. It's expired. <laughs> but I mean, it's fine. But if they don't want to take it, that's fine. There's not that much left. Oh, and then today was supposed to be the kids' um, makeup karate class, too. We were having it twice this week. But I mean, obviously, Uriah wouldn't have been able to go. And then. And then PJ came down and <laughs> he would be so weak against the opponents. I did I did joke around with him earlier and I was like, alright PJ, you ready for karate later? <laughs> He's like, uh maybe. And I was like, no, PJ, you're too weak. You're gonna you're gonna get your butt kicked when <laughs> when you guys spar.